break, I've got Paula Froelich. Now, she's with Yahoo Travel, and she's going to talk about Yahoo Summer Travel. Hey, Paula, how's it going? I'm fabulous, Belda. How are you? Well, you know I live in Texas, so the weather's fabulous. Travel is a great opportunity for us here in Texas. I love it. Tell us about some opportunities this summer with Yahoo Travel. What do we want to know? You know what? Especially for Texas, Big Sky, I want to know about road trips because, A, I love a road trip. Texas is the perfect country for a road trip. However, there's a couple things going on. There's a bill proposed right now in Congress that is going to basically raise tolls, which, ugh, with the gas rates going and with tolls going up, it's going to become a lot more expensive. However, there's some stuff you can do, and it's using technology. Go to the website, gasbuddy.com, and that will show you the best gas prices along your route. Or you can do the Waze app, W-A-Z-E, which is, it's going to show you how to get around all the toll, toll roads, which is my favorite. And then, of course, if you're renting a car, go for a hybrid so you don't even have to stop for gas. Are there any specific uh, uh, incentives out here for us as we do travel for lodging and, and like you say, for cars, those kind of things? Because those things make a trip, you know, more affordable for us. Oh, my gosh, absolutely. You know, we have deals almost every day on Yahoo Travel. And if you come in, we can show you where, which national hotels are giving away deals. We've got something coming up today if you're a teacher. There's, a, there's been breakfasts all over the United States that are giving teachers up to 30% off just because they appreciate teachers. Well, that's and something you, we need to do. Absolutely. You know, teachers are unsung heroes in America. And, this, and it's really nice to have some people giving back and just saying, you know what, we appreciate your work and we know you need a vacation of all people. We know our kids. We should kiss their feet uh so mm -hmm. <laughs> so summer's coming and people are planning their summer vacations we've got the fourth of july we've got a great holiday coming up so this yes, is a we do. big travel time for us so we can save some gas with uh the gas buddy we can save hotel um you can uh, the, you can, i'm sorry i didn't hear you you can well i can we can save on gas you told us about the gas yeah you can save on hotels and you can also save on airfares and, you know, a lot of people think I'm crazy when I say that because right now we are at historic highs for airfare. And airfares have gone up 15% in the last 13 years, which is a little nutty. And, you know, it's a lot about supply and demand. A lot of people, especially in summer, they want to travel. And the airlines, and the airlines are saying, well, gas is expensive and we're, they're cutting back on flights. And so, you know, long, do you remember those days like when you used to get lucky and you'd go on a flight and there would be like three empty seats next to you and you could just have a flat bed the whole way? I They're don't not know doing that. You're reading my mind. I just took I, a flight. I just took a car country flight. There was not a seat on the flight and I'm not even claustrophobic. I can't do not that Not a one and they're all like this and oh my gosh. It is. It's, it's, it's incredible. But so I guess if you save a little money, I guess you can kind of put up with the guy next to you in the seat, huh? Exactly. And this is what you do. You basically look at you look at your plans and you've got to be a little flexible. If you fly on Tuesday or Wednesday, you're going to get better rates. Or if you go onto a kayak or some other search site, you can hit the button that says flexible and that will give you options. So you say you want to do Friday to Monday. Well, it's going to look and say, if you go, well, Wednesday to Sunday, it, you're going to save a couple hundred bucks. And it's great. And then you can sign up on a lot of websites as well. You just hit the little tick button that says airfare alerts. All right, then. Well, we've got you on Facebook. And one of our questions from Facebook is, what about those baggage fees? How can I get around them? <laughs> oh, let me tell you. And by the way, this is a big deal that just came out. And a guy who works with me flew in from San Francisco. He was using his carry-on. So a lot of people are using carry-ons right now, you, you know, just to A, not do the charges and all that stuff. He was using his carry-on and they stopped him and said, it's too big. He goes, I've used it for six years. What do you mean it's too big? And it just came out. We just had a news story up on Yahoo Travel about United, 
Delta, a bunch of these places are now saying, nope, it's got to be 14 inches instead of 15. Well, they just decided that, but all the big, ba all the bad companies are making them for 15. So you got to be really careful and you got to pack light and tight. You do. You really do. I, I agree with that. Paula, this is great. So where we want to send the listening audience so that they can kind of get their bearing on their summer travels? Well, listen, if you need tips, advice, or you just want to daydream, come to www.yahoo.com slash travel. And listen, we go on Facebook, Yahoo Travel, go on Twitter, Yahoo Travel. If you guys have any questions or want to know about anything or just want to tell us where your daydream travel is, let us know. We'll get back to you. Paula Froleg from Yahoo Travel. Thank you so very much. I will. Thank you so much, Valder. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.